Hey YouTube, what's up? Today we are going to answer your questions that you sent to us using the hashtag ask to beeps. So I guess we'll start. <laughs> Lane asked, how often do you run into subscribers in real life? Like run into them? That's happened a couple times. Uh, I don't know, about like once a month maybe. Usually what happens is people will spot us and then tell us afterwards on Instagram <laughs> or Twitter or something and they won't actually say hi. So if you guys ever see us on the streets, feel free to say hi. We're usually pretty friendly. Paul asks, do you have any plans to visit any other U.S. cities this year? I don't think we have any plans quite yet, but we always love to travel, and there are a lot of cities across the country that we wanted to visit. So we're going to, yes. You guys are holding us accountable, right? Yes. Tell him that. Sorry, I drew a little bit. Todd asked, when are you going to wear your new 2 Beeps t-shirts? Oh, you mean these? We love these shirts. Thank you so much for sending them to us. And we do wear them, we just haven't worn them in a video yet. Wonder Girl asked, what are your thoughts on the next president of the United States of America? We're not fans. Following up on that, Richard Bartle asked, if you could ask Donald J. Trump one question, what would it be? I don't think I could ask him anything. He's just like not a reasonable human being. He lies all the time and he doesn't keep his promises. And he'd and probably say that we're fake news and then he'd just refuse to answer it anyway. I know, there's nothing I would actually want him to answer. I just want him to go away. Speaking of hairlines, Nijoth asked, how would you feel if the other beep started to go bald? Well, I already have a giant forehead as it is, so it wouldn't take much for me to start losing my hair. It wouldn't be that drastic because I already have a big forehead. Just don't do a comb over it. If you do a comb over, that's this, it. This is a good look for me. Me. Morgan D asked, what are your favorite songs from 2016? Don't let me, don't let me, don't let me down. Don't let me down. We go back from home. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> the amount of times that song is played <laughs> on our computer. <laughs> is too damn high. All my friends are heathens, take it slow. The greatest, the greatest, alive. alive. I've been stabbed. <laughs> I don't think they wanted us to sing our favorite song in 2016. <laughs> Tyler Doesn't Know asks, what are your thoughts on the new Zelda? Oh my God. I just watched the trailer for it and I am so excited. Did you know it's coming March 3rd? Beep, did you watch the trailer? <laughs> I love you. And I love Zelda. From Rags to Richie asked, what is your favorite foreign accent? I love foreign accents. Yeah. I find them all to be pretty sexy. Which accent is your favorite though? I think French. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I'm hearing it in my mind right now. Oh, mon ami, I have been uh, waiting for you to come home and it's uh, a great pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to sound a little Japanese, but. <laughs> Mika's Books asked, what she asked? Mika's Books asks, what is something you wish you were good at? I wish I was good at skateboarding because I could skateboard around New York and then I wouldn't have to worry about like bringing a bike around with me or taking the subway. I could just skateboard everywhere. And I wish I was good at singing. Just kidding, I am good at singing. TJ asks, have you ever considered visiting a nudist resort or living at a nudist colony? Um, we do. It's in Bushwick. It's called our apartment. <laughs> we walk around naked a lot. Would you want to be naked outdoors like all the time? Weather permitting. I wouldn't want to be naked in New York no. in the middle of the winter. Maybe when we retire and we're nice and flabby. I like how it's nice and flabby. <laughs> yeah, because then you don't need underwear. You just fold your belly over. Lena Salvatore asked, what was the last book you read? The last book I just finished reading was Life After Life by Kate Atkinson. And I just read... When did I just finish? And I just read The Curious Incident of the Dogs in the Nighttime. You did? Because, yes. I want to go see the play. Me too. Is that why you saw it? Read it, yes. <laughs> no, I meant, is that why you saw the book? And then we're like, oh, I have to read it. And then read it. That's not what you meant. <laughs> A few of you have asked us about what the greatest differences are between us. On a kind of serious note, I think I just approach things more logically. And I'm definitely more emotional. We sometimes clash with that, but in general, I think we have more similarities than we do differences. Probably. 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 <laughs> this is actually how he says the word probably though. No, it's yes, not. Yes, it is. <laughs> PeanutDog1924 asked, how much do you love each other? You answer this much. Oh. All right. I was going to be like from the moon to the moon and back, and you're like, a couple yards, but <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> no worries. I'm beat. Bye. I can still reach you with how much I love you. Okay, that's all the questions we're going to answer for today. Thank you so much for sending in the questions, and thank you so much for watching this video. If you'd like to participate in future Ask Two Beeps, follow us on Twitter or on Patreon. All the links are below. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm Beep. I'm Beep. We are Two Beeps. Beeping out. Beeps out. Hey, this is how much I love you. Whenever I beeps out, it's how much I love you. This is the new That's measurement the of how much I love you.